What a sensational drive it was from Max Verstappen at Interlagos. From 17th on the grid all the way to the top of the podium. The win in Interlagos was very, very crucial for Max Verstappen because with this one result, he is all but assured of a fourth consecutive F1 title. And the drive by Max Verstappen ensured that his rivals will have to really pray for some mathematical magic. Now, after the result at Interlagos, this is the points table that is there. 393 points for Max Verstappen. He was 47 points ahead, but because of Lando Norris's sixth place finish in Interlagos yesterday, he's increased that gap to 62 points. Sixth position for Norris, first for Verstappen, meant that the gap increased from 47 to 62. Now, because of the results yesterday, only three guys are mathematically in contention. Verstappen himself is favorite to win. Lando Norris will have to hope for mathematical miracles to take place. And then there is also Charles Leclerc because the gap between him and Verstappen is 86 points. And 86 points is all that the drivers will fight for in the remaining three races. Now, the three races that will happen now, you have got another mini break until Las Vegas. 18 days later, there will be the night Grand Prix in Las Vegas, followed by Qatar and Abu Dhabi. The one race that could tilt the championship is Qatar, because Qatar has the sprint race as well as the main race. Now, how did the 86 point calculation come up? 75 points if you win three races and also if you look at it. Now, people have to understand that the point system in F1 is like this. You get 25 points for a win, 18 points for second, third you get 15 points and until 10th position you get 1 point. So, from 1 to 10, 25 to 1 is the number of points that you get. Now, however, there is the sprint race in Qatar. Now, in a sprint race, you will get 8 points. So, if a driver has to win all the 3 races, it is 25 plus 25 plus 25, which is 75, plus 1 sprint race, 8 points, that is 83. Where are the remaining 3 points coming from? Fastest lap in each race. Now, remember, if you get the fastest lap, you get 1 point. So, if Max Verstappen gets the fastest lap, he will get 25 plus 1, which is 26. So, basically 3 races, 3 points, 86. So, 20, 75 plus 8 plus 3 is 86. Now, look at the situation that is there with Verstappen, Norris and Leclerc. If Max Verstappen finishes the race in the podium, then Leclerc is out. Because Leclerc can only at max get to 86 if he wins all the three and Verstappen doesn't finish. Then and only then it is possible. But if Verstappen finishes another race, game over for Charles Leclerc. He can't make it. That leaves only Lando Norris. Now, Lando Norris has to hope for two things. One, win every race and even the sprint with the fastest lap. Ensure Verstappen doesn't finish in two or three of the races that is there. If he has a DNF in all the three, even greater. Sprint also. Sprint if he gets to sixth or seventh, then also it will ensure that Lando Norris wins the F1 title. But if Max Verstappen has a win in Las Vegas or if he finishes in the podium, it is game over for Leclerc and even for Norris because if you look at it, the 13, if you get 25 and 15, then the 10 point deficit, then unfortunately you do not make it up even in the sprint race. So, Verstappen is sure shot, one of the favorites to win the F1 title for the fourth time. Leclerc and Norris have to hope that the some mathematical miracles come their way because Qatar could be that main event where the tables turn because there is a sprint race also involved in this. So, 75 plus 11 points at stake in the sprint at the fastest lap. It's all boiling down to a very, very tense conclusion to the 2024 F1 calendar. Who do you think? Will Verstappen do it or will Lando Norris ensure that he steals the title from Verstappen?
You can write to us in the comments below. Thank you so much folks for joining us for this video. Subscribe to Sports Today for all the latest news and analysis.